PlayStation 5s can be used for mining? A leaked Elden Ring trailer has allegedly appeared online, and a feature that you've been waiting for AMD to adopt for quite some time. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I am your host, Brett. We're gonna go over the hottest tech news that you can find on the internet, but before we do, can you hit the like button with the ferocity of a thousand squids? That would just mean the world to me. Also, get subscribed so that you never miss any of the hot news that we've got going on, which the hottest news of them all today is the PlayStation 5 can allegedly mine this is a report that is coming out of China with a screenshot showing that the PlayStation 5 can run at 98.76 mega hash while consuming only 211 watts while mining Ethereum. So you can see right here, this is allegedly the custom dashboard that's been used on the hack PlayStation 5, unless you use that little QR code that you see in the bottom right hand corner. And surprise, surprise, this is actually a doctored image. And that QR code says there is no such software for entertainment. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> so in case you see anybody out on the internet saying that the PlayStation 5 can mine, nobody was really able to hack the PlayStation 4 firmware once Sony locked it down and you couldn't use Linux anymore. I doubt we're really gonna see that on the PlayStation 5. We might be able to see it on the Xbox with developer mode, but that's a big if. However, if it does happen, you can bet your bottom dollar that this is only going to make the shortages worse because a $500 system that can run mining, that's cheaper than the graphics cards that you would otherwise get so hopefully it never happens but as it stands now if you see anybody out there saying that the PlayStation 5 can mine it cannot as of the moment right now completely fake news just hold on to your hats. But what's not fake news is mining on the M1 Max. You wanna get some Ethereum cash going with the MacBook Air? Well, somebody's been able to test it and it turns out that it's profitable. 14 cents a day can do two mega hash, which means that it would take 20 years to pay off the MacBook that you, the cheapest one that you bought. So just, it's this is not gonna cause a reduction of Macs on the market, even though a lot of people might want that, it's, it's simply not gonna happen. Mining on an M1 Mac is a thing, it's just not very profitable. But Pallet seems to think that going back to Pascal might be profitable because they're reintroducing the P106 mining cards, at least according to a submission to the EEC, showing that the P106 Pascal GTX 1060 equivalents might be coming back from Pallet. So they're trying to address the mining solution by going back to things that we thought we left behind a long, long time ago. But we did it because of this nasty thing called Bitcoin. So I think it's time for the Bitcoin update. We got Bitcoin going up yesterday, hitting nearly $50,000 in the 24 hour high, settling at about 48 and a half at the time of me recording right here. One of the big things that happened is Goldman Sachs is apparently relaunching its crypto trading desk after it paused it back in 2018. And they're gonna allow for Bitcoin futures trading on their platform. So more adoption being taking place there. And now let's jump on over to the GameStunk update. We've got GameStunk closing at $119. You can see right here in after hours, it's down to 170 but it slowly trended upwards during the day up until three o'clock where it decided that it was gonna go to the moon and then it just, it slightly settled into Earth orbit. So GameStop not going to the moon just yet, but still going up. That's the end of the GameStop Bitcoin update. Now let's get back to the PlayStation 5 news because there's a report coming out from Bloomberg that that little SSD slot that you're not allowed to use just yet will likely be able to be used sometime this summer according to people that have been briefed on the plan. I've heard some other reports that one of the reasons it wasn't actually available at launch was due to heating concerns that they were having and they will have to ramp up the fan profile in order to get it so that you can use that. Not 100% sure on that one, but in case you wanna see what happens when you try to install an SSD into a PS5, you can check out our video right in that top right hand corner where I tried that exact thing. It didn't go so well. And loading GTA online apparently doesn't go so well for a lot of people. It takes forever from what I understand, but a single developer has found a solution that will save you 70% of your time, cutting it down from six minutes down to a minute and a half based on just getting rid of some redundant checking that's happening and just reconfiguring how it reads JSON files. I'm not fully into the programming side of things, but it seems to indicate that this is a simple fix that Rockstar could implement and they just haven't yet, but it could save a lot of people a lot of time, huge time savings, which EA doesn't want to save your time. They want to draw out your time. And apparently they're going to need some more time to develop the next Need for Speed, not because they want to make the next Need for Speed game better, but because they want to make Battlefield better. So Need for Speed getting delayed because Battlefield's not ready. And instead of saying, hey, no, these games won't be where we need them to be. It's just like, hey, we're canceling this one. So this one can be better. It's, ah, 
Stop it, EA. You have all of these properties that people know and love and you screw us year after year with garbage make after garbage make. Just give the people what they want. A Need for Speed Underground 2 remake. That's what we want. That's what I want. I, I'm, I am the people. And the people have spoken that they want some Elden Ring news, which apparently is out there. So there's a leaked trailer, which take with a grain of salt how true this is. But from what I can see based on sources, this is actually might be legitimate. There are some sample footages of a leaked trailer that has been out there where it's showing off some combat as well as just some CG that you could expect to see in the Elden Ring's game, which in case you're not familiar is the next anticipated title from From Software who has made the Dark Souls games and is getting people all hyped over that. So you can see right here, this is part of the leaked trailer. It doesn't look like it's perfect, but there's some leaked footage that's coming out with just who, who knows? And this might just be a giant bamboozle because the Elden Ring fanboys are just really, really stirred up into a frenzy over the fact that there's been no discussion. So just even the hint of a fake trailer is getting people all toasty inside. And apparently Nvidia cart manufacturers don't want to get all toasty inside your PC with blower style coolers because they're being discontinued left and right. This is a report coming out from video cards where it just talks about the fact that all of the blower style 3090s that were announced have either been discontinued from the website, continued officially or just never actually made it to production and that they're likely never coming back. So this includes Gigabyte, Galax, MSI, just 404 product pages everywhere, Asus not existent. And the speculation is that this is because these companies might be trying to reserve those blower style coolers for the upcoming CMP cards that is going to be released by Nvidia. So miners not only taking our regular GPUs, but now they're taking our two slot blower style coolers, which I wanted. Dang it! And you wanted AVX 512 support on Zen 4. Well, according to a report that has come out from the Chip Health forums, that's going to happen. Allegedly, the new architecture from AMD is going to support AVX 3512, as well as Bfloat 16 and other ISA extensions, as well as making use of design and manufacturing improvements to per performance and performance per watt and up to 64 cores per socket, two threads per core, two sockets max. This goes slightly in contradiction to the episode we had yesterday talking about the 96 core chip that could potentially be coming out. So we'll just have to wait and see which rumor is right. Fight to the death. Well, there's another rumor that's coming out that we can verify much sooner because tomorrow AMD is announcing their RX 6700 series March 3rd at 11 a.m. They're going to be live streaming that event. Anyways, the newest rumor coming out from Calcott land is the fact that the 6700 XT will launch without the 6700. So it's just going to be a single card setup and hopefully that means that more are available. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore because that's the end of this episode of Hot News. You can check out both of the episodes that you may have missed of Hot News right here or right here in case you're interested in keeping up to date on all of that. I've been Brett, your your host with all of the hottest tech news on the internet and I'll catch you in the second episode later today my friends cheers <laughs>